Sagittarius. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for October 2020. Let's get right into your general message. Okay, angels, what's going on? What is going on for Sagittarius? Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, please. Positive energy for Sagittarius for the month of October. <laughs> Angels, what is going on for Sagittarius? One more, please. And you know what? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Moving on to my mom's deck for Sagittarius. We're looking for high vibrations. Yes, we are. We're looking for joy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Angels. And one. There we go. Moving on to the purple deck for Sagittarius. Angels and guides. Angels and guides, we're looking for, you guys know, you guys know high energy. Yes, you do. Angels, what's going on for Sag? What's going on for Sag? Come on, angels. One more. Oh, oh, there it is right there. Oh, how awesome is that? Now, I feel like we need to add the Angels of Light deck for you, Sag. I don't know why I'm picking up Angels of Light. Mm-hmm. What is going on for? Yes, yes, yes. Moving on to, I feel like, I feel like we need to add the Ask, Ask, Ask Your Angel deck. Yeah, Ask Your Angels deck. This is a new deck. And if it gets, sometimes these cards get stuck. So bear with me, okay, Sag? Bear with me. Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for Sagittarius. That goes, that goes, that goes there. All right, all right. That, I feel like that goes there too. So let's not pull that out of there. No. Now, now let's top it off, Sagittarius, for the month of October. Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, please. Positive energy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for Sagittarius for the month of October. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. And wow. All right, that goes there. That goes there. Two more, please. Two more angels. Two more messages. Thank you for Sagittarius. Angels and guides, thank you. Thank you. There's three more. <laughs> All right, so let's tidy up, Sag, and we're going to get right into your message for October. 10, 2020, a lot of changes to look forward to this month. All right, so major theme for the month, Sag, is the Four of Wands and the Six of Diamonds, the King of Clubs, the Sacrifice card, and the Angel of Nurturing, Joy, with the Four of Spades and the Five of Clubs. It feels a little bittersweet, if you will. All right, so I feel like the major theme is things huh, are finally going your way. They're feeling really good, and you're like, ah, uh, can this please last? With the four of, with the King of Clubs, I feel like the more control you have in this situation, yeah, the longer it's going to last. But there is definitely a sacrifice for this. You must give. You much must nurture. And that will bring joy to everyone involved. With the four of spades, is it going to be a lot of work? Yeah, it is. With the five of clubs, I feel like it, it will be a lot of work to do. And you, there will be times in the month where you feel like, I just don't want to nurture anymore. And, but, but know that. Although, know that while you're doing it and while you're feeling like, yeah, things are great, and it's almost like things are great because you are nurturing, because, and there are, there will be times with the five book clubs that you'll want to not do this, you'll change your mind a few times about, am I going to do this, am I going to keep doing this, am I going to keep doing this, am I going to keep, yes, for a happy home, you will, all right. But in your mind, you're thinking, uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, all right, so let's look at the recent past. You have the Queen of Swords reversed with the Eight of Clubs and the Four of Hearts. Patience and planning with the Angel of Reflection. Yes, yes, yes. Peace. Jack of Spades and Five of Spades. So I feel like this has been going on quite a bit. So with the Queen of Swords, I feel like someone has been kind of... Mm, Mum's the word, not so much as I, I'm picking up, um, maybe you can be tough, you can make decisions 
you know, you, you can come forth as a very strong person, but I feel like in the past you're like, no, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to this time. With the Eight of Clubs, you definitely came to that resolve that you wanted to not be that way because you wanted, a, you know, you wanted joy, you wanted peace, you wanted to be, um, you wanted things to work out well emotionally. With the patience card, you were definitely patient in this situation. With the angel of reflection, because I feel like you thought about, well, I handled it this way in the past. Let me let me see how I can bring peace into my life. This is a different way that you're doing things, and I feel like this was a different way that you did things. And with the five of spades, it definitely created something different. Things definitely changed. Yes. Yeah, it changed because, why? Because you changed, right? Sometimes we want change, but we're not willing to change. But I feel like you changed to get something that you wanted. Now, when we look into the middle of the month, we have the judgment card with the eight, the eight of hearts, the five of hearts, the shadow card, angel of alchemy, hmm, the conflict resolution, two of hearts, and the joker. I'm feeling like Sag, it is time. Judgment. Judgment is here in the middle of the month. I feel like there is an element of someone having some very, um, I want to say, I want to say, someone is being very flirtatious. I'm picking up someone is being very flirtatious and this is changing someone's feelings. It might be changing your feelings or it may change someone else's. With the shadow card, you're not so sure if something is going on or not and that goes both ways. Is something going on or do you want something to go on? With the alchemy, you're trying to shift something and you're trying to resolve a conflict within your love partnerships. Yeah, I feel like this love partnership could be with a, no, this doesn't have to be romantic. It could be with a friend, a family member, an aunt, an uncle, a sister, a brother, cousin. But I feel like, I feel like I'm picking up, you're going to find something out and your, your feelings are going to change because there's something that happens. It literally changes who you are and you're, it's, and to go within and try to resolve this about this partnership, you, you, it remains to be seen, will, will you resolve this or will you won't resolve this? I feel like, you know, I, I pick up somebody who's doing something behind your back and, or you're doing something behind someone else's back, but it definitely will come out. It definitely will come out and it will change the, um, the dynamics of that relationship. Okay. So, I'm going to leave that right there in the middle of the month. Now, by the end of the month, you have the two of swords reversed with the three of hearts, the seven, the seven of spades, movement choices and decisions with the angel of listening, children, hmm, that's what I kind of felt, maybe it's one of your children. Yeah, maybe. With the four of clubs, depending on where you're sitting, with the four of clubs and the nine of clubs. So by the end of the month, I see that you definitely are making a decision. It's like this decision had something to do with, I feel like two people. I definitely feel like it had to do with two people that you were not very happy with. You're going to make some decisions. Yes, you're definitely going to make some decisions. And I feel like, I feel like someone has to listen to what you have to say. I feel like someone has to listen to what you have to say. It looks like this has something to do with your children. I, I'm just picking this up. Or maybe someone who acts like ch a child. But nonetheless, with the four of clubs, I see you making up your mind. And you're just, you know what, you're just telling them. You're just basically telling them you need to sit down and you need to listen because this is the way it is going to be. Now, when we look at your bonus, you have the Knight of Cups with the full card mm -hmm. and the five of cups with the jack of clubs, the king of spades, foundation and achievement, angel of detachment, intuition, eight of diamonds, three of spades and the five of diamonds. So your bonus is, is I'm feeling this energy of you're wanting, you're wanting to give love. You're wanting to give this an amazing love, but you're feeling like with the full card, you're giving it, but at the same time, you're wanting to leave. I feel like you're wanting to, 
I'm like, I'm willing to give this to you, but at the same time, you're, I'm willing to give it to you as I'm walking out of the door, if that makes sense. Because things haven't been going with the Five of Cups. Things haven't been going the way you want it to go. There's been a bit of Jack of Clubs. There's a bit of, bit of um, I feel like immaturity, and it's, it's really weighing on you. And, and it has to do with your your um, your security, your security, and and you want to be happy. Like this has to do with your home. I feel like this has to do with your home, and I feel like you're detaching. Someone's doing something that's making your home not so happy, and you know you know your your gut is telling you this. Your gut is definitely telling you this. But you have more power in this situation than you than you realize. With the three of spades, I know you're worried about finances changing, but trust me there you have more power in this situation there is a bit of mischief going on this month pay attention to it i feel like you you don't even have to pay attention to it it's just going to be right there you're calling the shots this month and you're laying down the law okay so i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way